Yo yo what's good YouTube this is Zango and today I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a local uh, development environment for your WordPress theme development so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to search exempt and then go to Apache friends you're just gonna download uh, whatever version uh, you, uh, you need like the Windows the Linux or the Mac OS I already have it downloaded and installed so I'm not gonna waste your time by watching that so let's get to it so one of the required files for setting up the local development is the WordPress 6.0 uh, as the release of this video which is 20 of 6 uh, 20 of May I'm sorry uh, WordPress 6 is not still released however uh, we're gonna use this development version uh, it's RC4 it's like a beta testing version so we're just gonna copy that into your local disk C then go into XAMPP. You're gonna find a folder they named htdocs. In there, you're just gonna paste that WordPress zip, extract it here, so you have WordPress uh, right now installed. So after installing XAMPP, you're just gonna start. Make sure to start the Apache server and the MySQL server. Then go into your browser. And yeah, uh, downloading WordPress. Just download WordPress. And yeah. Uh, so you could download an Arabic, English, whatever version you would like. But I'm using the English version right now, 6.0. So after that, you're just going to go to localhost and just localhost for now and then just check out if your WordPress is installed by going to localhost slash WordPress we're just gonna install this so yeah so basically it needs a database database username data password and a database host alright so we're gonna set this up in exam which is very, very easy to set up we're just gonna go to PHP my admin we're gonna go to user accounts and just one second let me just refresh that yeah sometimes it just goes a little bit uh, crazy because it's a development environment so let me just refresh that let me just duplicate the tab or right, maybe the exam yeah if it does fail on you just restart it don't worry nothing really happened uh, just restart your MySQL server then again like I said go to user accounts you're gonna add a user account make sure to click on this one create database with the same username and grant all privileges and then check this all you can make the username whatever you like so let's make this a Bootstrap 5 uh, project admin, for example, and make sure to register this name because this name is going to be your database name. So you could just go over here, save it for now. Project DB, for example, and then uh, the password, just whatever password you like, bootstrap 5 project, for example, password, let's make it whatever for now. So, yeah, and after this, all make sure to press go at the end, uh, at the right, yeah, at the left, I'm sorry, so go. And we could save that for now so you could see create user and it created a MySQL user and a database with the same name. So we're just gonna go to your WordPress setup configuration and you're gonna submit that. Go to your database name. It's basically again gonna be this and the username as well, the password, and submit that. So as you could see here it is installed so we're just gonna run the installation 
uh, let's make the site title whatever we like let's make it bootstrap 5 theme portfolio and then make a username for WP admin for example user and go and make this password whatever password you would like I'll just take the generated password and uh, I'm just gonna add an email for here I'm gonna blur this out later on and install on WordPress alright so it's installed right now we're just gonna log in with these credentials and here it is that is WordPress 6.0 and it is installed everything is installed all right so thank you so much for watching this video uh, check out the next video where I set up the theme itself from scratch and for now thank you so much for watching this video comment and like and subscribe and continue watching this series to the next video check out the video on the top left which in like I said in the next video I'm just gonna be setting up the theme from scratch thank you so much and have a nice day you guys